Welcome back to Movie Recap. Today, I'm gonna show you a 2008 tragedy film called, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Spoilers ahead. Seat back, relax, and enjoy. The movie begins with Bruno and his friends naively running through the streets of Berlin. He then comes home and sees everyone in the house getting busy afterward. Pieces of furniture are getting moved, and maids are cleaning every part of the house. Then, his mom, Elsa, together with his sister, Gretel, catches him. They deliver the good news about his father getting a promotion, and there will be a celebration of it. Gathered in a room, Ralph, Bruno's father, tells the family that they are moving to the countryside because of his promotion. Upon hearing this, Bruno is devastated because he will not see his friends anymore. But his parents assure him that they he could make new and more friends. Later that day, their house is filled with people, their grandma and grandpa are also there. Shortly after, Ralph comes down from upstairs, and people, along with his parents, start to give him a round of applause and salute him about his promotion. Then, his mother starts telling stories about his childhood and his love for uniforms. She also comments about Ralph's promotion, but Ralph stops her and advises her to be careful of her words that may harm her. The following day, Bruno plays with his friends one last time. But Elsa calls Bruno from downstairs and tells him to say his goodbyes to his friends. When the car leaves, his friends wave at him from behind. Bruno settles down in his seat, and sadness is evident in his eyes, so Elsa consoles by hugging him. Not long after they come into the new house, Ralph leaves them for a meeting with soldiers. Elsa commands her children to choose their rooms. Gretel enthusiastically runs upstairs, budging his brother, who sits still. In Bruno's room, he talks to Maria, one of the maids, and talks about the new house. Then, Bruno stands up and looks into the windows, seeing places just across the farm. Later that day, Bruno informs his mother that he wants to play with the kids across the farm. Confused, his mother tells him that she doesn't know about the houses over the farm. Timely, an exhausted farmer, Pavel, comes in, carrying goods. Bruno informs his mother about the farmers wearing pajamas, so Elsa goes upstairs towards his room to see through the window. After meeting, Ralph sees Bruno and talks to him inside his office. They converse about the house, but Bruno interrupts him, asking about farmers and the pajamas. Then, Elsa informs Bruno that he cannot play with those strange kids. Before leaving, Elsa argues with Ralph about the houses over the farm. While sitting in his bed, Bruno stares at his window which was closed by pieces of wood. He then plays by himself when Maria comes in. Bruno says his sentiments so Maria advises him to distract himself. Afterwards, when they ate eating in the kitchen, Ralph informs them that he hired a tutor coming twice a week. Pavel listens to the family as Bruno is not that happy about the news. Outside, Bruno walks to Gretel and Lieutenant Kotler. He asks Kotler about spare tires around. Bruno informs him that he wants to make a swing, so Kotler yells at Pavel, who nervously walks towards them. Kotler firmly commands him to help Bruno with the tires at the back garden. At the back, Bruno looks at Pavel as they make their way to the storage room. Pavel starts looking for a tire and leaves after getting it. Swinging himself, Bruno sees a black smoke above the trees and tries to stand on the tire, but then he clumsily slips and falls, hurting himself. Bruno opens his eyes and sees Pavel rushing to him. Inside, Pavel wraps Bruno's knees as Bruno asks questions. Pavel gets back in peeling potatoes after that. Then Bruno questions Pavel's ability to say that his injury is only minor. Hence, Pavel informs that he used to practice medicine before he came to the camp. Pavel looks teary-eyed at Bruno's compliment. However, Pavel changes the topic, shocking Bruno. Elsa rushes towards him when she sees Bruno, and Bruno informs her about the swing incident and Pavel cleaning his cut. Then Elsa judgingly looks at Pavel as she commands Bruno to be in his room. Looking through Gretel's window, Bruno sees her list, the teacher cycling inside of the property. Altogether, her asks the children about their country's current news and events. Gretel gladly informs him. But Bruno, on the other hand, says he is only reading fiction books. Hearing this, her tells about his actual use and gives Bruno a massive text to read. On his swing, Bruno reads the book but stops as he sees the door at the corner. He then walks in carefully and runs to escape through a window. Bruno happily plays with the grass when Bruno sees posts with barbed wires and a child in striped pajamas. Bruno goes inside the barrier and asks his name. Shmuel then introduces himself. Bruno converse with Shmuel when suddenly they hear a whistle. Shmuel gets up and takes the cartwheel in his hands, saying goodbye to Bruno as he leaves. Bruno looks for his football in his room but fails to find it, so he goes to Elsa in the kitchen and asks her about it. Elsa tells him to look for the football in the cellar. Carrying a flashlight, Bruno goes into the cellar to look but sees more. Many dolls are in there, so he goes upstairs to Gretel's room and tells her about it. Gretel tells him the silliness of playing with dolls while others fight for their country. 
Sitting on the grass, Bruno waits for Shmuel together with his football. He distracts himself, but Shmuel does not show up. The morning after, Bruno looks at Kotler when Elsa comes out and informs him that she will go to the town. Bruno looks at them as they leave, and as soon as they are out of sight, he runs to the back door. Divided by the barbed wires, Bruno talks to Shmuel about their clothing, Shmuel's father, Pavel, the smoke from the chimneys, and then the barbed wires imprison Shmuel and other people like him. In the car, Elsa looks at the swing looking for Bruno, but fails. On the other hand, Bruno curiously asks why the barbed wires and Shmuel informs them of being a Jew. Not knowing what to say, Bruno gets up and says goodbye to Shmuel. Later that evening, Bruno asks about the horrid smell coming from the chimneys to Gretel and Elsa. Ralph tells them about their grandpa coming, so Bruno asks again about the smell, but Ralph smoothly changes the topic. After that event, Elsa inquires about what her has been teaching the children because of the significant change in Gretel's behavior. Ralph cuts her off, assuring that they are thought without malice, and invites her to bed. In the kitchen, Bruno puts food inside his bag when Maria opens the door. Maria asks what's the food, but Bruno tells her it's nothing that concerns her. Suddenly, Elsa walks into them and asks about Bruno's satchel. Bruno lies to her too and tells her it's books from her, making Elsa want to see it, but Bruno tells her another lie. Elsa does not notice it and lets Bruno takes the football with him and leave. Bruno plays with the ball as Shmuel eats every crumb of Bruno's food. Bruno then tosses the ball to Shmuel's side, but Shmuel throws it back. When they hear the whistle, Shmuel immediately gets back to work. Out from the car, Elsa startles Bruno as he gets back, but Bruno lies to her about his ball getting inside as Kotler calls Elsa's belongings. Elsa and Bruno smell horrid and see smoke above the trees. Then Kotler tells it's from burning dead bodies. That same day, Elsa confronts busy Ralph about it, but Ralph tries to reason with Elsa, so she cries. Suddenly, Bruno opens the door and sees his parents. He informs them about Grandpa's arrival. At the dining table, everyone feels tension, so Bruno breaks the silence, talking to his grandpa. When grandpa asks about their tutor, Gretel happily replies. At the same time, Bruno informs him that they only read history books. Kotler then shares his story and about his father, who used to teach literature. Gaining attention from Ralph, he asks Kotler a series of questions about his father. Uncomfortable with the situation, Kotler tries to satisfy Ralph's question. However, Ralph grills him, he asks Pavel for wine, and when Pavel reaches Kotler's side, he accidentally knocks Kotler's glass, spilling the wine. Kotler angrily carries Pavel outside of the room and pounds on him. After dinner, Bruno cries as he sees his father doing nothing and Gretel shrugging while Pavel gets beaten up. Bruno then asks about the farm, and Gretel informs him that it is a camp for Jews and more. The morning after, Maria cleans the blood of Pavel. Days after that, Bruno sees Shmuel in one of the rooms. Bruno tells him that they are not supposed to be friends and must be enemies, but Shmuel does not reply and continues his work. Bruno then sees the food and gives it to hungry Shmuel. Bruno asks about Shmuel's father and the camp. Suddenly, Kotler comes in, questioning and accusing Shmuel of stealing food, but Shmuel informs that Bruno is his friend and gives him the food. So, Kotler asks Bruno, but Bruno denies it, disappointing Shmuel. Bruno cries in frustration back in his room but then decides to see Shmuel downstairs only to see Maria cleaning the glasses. Bruno then goes to the camp to find Shmuel, but fails. Gathered in a room, the soldiers watch a short film. Bruno sneaks a peek through the glass window. Ralph sees Bruno sitting on a chair near the room and he runs and hugs him. Bruno bumps into Kotler on his way out the day after and bids goodbye. That same day, Bruno carries the rackets on his way to the camp, hoping that Shmuel would show up, but he didn't for days. Then finally, Shmuel shows up, his right eye red and bruised, and Bruno tells his confusion about the camp and why he denied their friendship. Bruno feels sorry for what he did and asks to continue their company, it Shmuel accepts by shaking their hands. At the dining table, Gretel asks the whereabouts of Kotler to her father, to which Ralph replies that he's been moved. Ralph then takes the phone call about his mother's death. The family walks grandma to her grave. With no choice, Elsa cries as she gathers her children to her side. After the funeral, Bruno meets Shmuel again and plays with him. The boys laugh as they play and bid goodbye. Bruno then carefully gets back to the house. Later that evening, Bruno and Gretel hear their parents' voices, arguing about his position and liabilities, Gretel hugging her brother as they quietly listen. In his office, Ralph asks his children whether they are happy at their place. Gretel says she misses Crotel, while Bruno confuses Gretel as he tells his father he does not forget his old friends. Ralph then delivers the news of them moving somewhere. Bruno tries to argue, but Ralph firmly says no because the decision is final. Shmuel shares with Bruno about his friends missing for days at the camp, so Bruno decides to deliver the bad news of him moving away for good. 
Bruno tries to lighten up the mood by offering to find Shmuel's father. Shmuel excitedly gives an idea of Bruno being one of them, covering his head and wearing pajamas so he could go into the camp. The morning comes, and Bruno prepares a sandwich as he convinces Elsa to let him play on the swings. Getting approval, Bruno gets out and goes to the camp holding a shovel. Shmuel meets him, and Bruno starts to undress to wear pajamas. Shortly after, Bruno digs a hole enough for him and goes inside the camp, looking for Shmuel's father. On the other hand, Elsa, Gretel, and Maria start to look for Bruno around the house. At the same time, Bruno looks at the people inside the camp and tells Shmuel that maybe he should get back, his voice scared, but Shmuel brings up his father, so they continue their journey. They walk with the crowd outside. Now, Elsa desperately looks for Bruno and sees the back door, and runs inside. Just as they think Bruno is not there, Gretel sees the sandwich Bruno made for Shmuel, and they realize he used the window. In a meeting, Elsa disturbs Ralph and reports about their son missing. Ralph immediately commands the soldiers to take down the door and goes into it. On the other hand, the boys are caught in the middle of the crowd, rain pouring as they walk. They are gathered in a room, taking their clothes off as the soldiers commanded and getting locked in the gas chamber. Running to the camp, Ralph sees the hole in the ground and Bruno's clothes and immediately runs to the side and commands the soldiers to look for his son. As they go into the huts, Ralph sees the empty cabin while Elsa and Gretel follow them and see Bruno's clothes, triggering Elsa's emotions. At the end of the movie, the boys hold hands as they get gassed, assuring each other that everything will be fine. On the other hand, Gretel consoles Elsa, who is screaming in agony while holding Bruno's clothes. Ralph stares into nowhere, unable to process what Bruno's faith had become, and pajamas are scattered in front of the gas chamber door. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.